guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book talk on Firsts by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn. This is a YA contemporary book and also a debut novel. I rated this book 5 out of 5 stars and for those of you that have read the book is either shocking or accurate because this book does have a lot of mixed reviews but I'm very excited to share with you guys why I love this book, all about it, and give some of you guys that have not heard of it a little bit of a non-spoiler summary and for those of you that have read it I will have a spoiler section at the end where we can talk about some of the details from this book. This book follows a senior in high school named Mercedes who thinks that she's doing some couples a favor by sleeping with virgin boys in her senior class that have girlfriends to prepare them for the first time they want to have sex with their actual girlfriends. Basically Mercedes is taking these guys that have never had sex before, teaching them the ropes of having sex so that they can have a good first time for their girlfriend. Mercedes believes that by doing this she's doing a great deed to most of these couples considering that Mercedes first time was not good at all and she wants to prevent that from happening to any other girls. So Mercedes thinks that by having sex with all of these guys' girlfriends, she's doing the world a great favor. Very interesting concept, kind of strange. I heard about this book through Epic Reads, their website, and I read the premise and I was like, that sounds really interesting and like nothing I've ever heard before. So I immediately went out and picked it up and I read this yesterday. I read it in 24 hours and I have to say, guys, I really enjoyed it. A lot more than I thought I would, to be honest. And I also really enjoyed the protagonist, Mercedes, of this book. I know when I hauled this book a couple videos back a lot of you guys said I wouldn't like it because you thought the protagonist Mercedes was a really unlikable character but I have to say I absolutely loved Mercedes and I loved this book and I know that might be a little bit controversial to say that I really liked Mercedes because she's basically a homewrecker <laughs> throughout the whole book and that's why people believe she's unlikable obviously but I just really really liked her. Now obviously explain that if you've read the book if you want to know why I liked her so much that will definitely be in the non-spoiler section but I have to say if you're somebody that's heard of this book and you think you wouldn't like the main character maybe just give it a try you might end up loving her. This story had me intrigued from the first chapter I just could not stop reading it. I finished it in less than a day so if that says anything I really enjoyed reading this book and it was super fast-paced great writing great debut novel in general like I can't believe this is a debut novel it was fantastic overall it's just a really heartwarming and honest story about you know love and friendship and family and sexuality and slut shaming and double standards that girls face against guys and just high school and I really really enjoyed it and I think that anybody could take something from this especially those in high school or college I think it's a great book to read I wouldn't recommend it to younger people. I mean, it is a young adult book, but I would say maybe like 15, 16. Like, I wouldn't read it if you're younger than that. It is pretty explicit in its sexual content, so I would keep that in mind if you want to pick this book up. Even though it is young adult, it does deal with a lot of more mature stuff, so keep that in mind. Overall, guys, I just really liked this book. I mean, I laughed, I cried. Overall, it was just roller coaster of emotions, but I really did enjoy this book, regardless of all of its negative attention that I've seen um, on Goodreads. I was reading through some of the reviews, and, you know, it's hard to stand here and be like, I gave this book five stars because I know that I'm sure to get back backlash for that but I'm staying true to my review. I did give it five stars. I loved it so much and I would love to share with you guys why I gave it the five stars if you have read the book and you're curious. Perhaps you gave it a lower rating or maybe you did also enjoy it as much as I did. So for those of you that have not read the book yet, if any of that sounded interesting to you, I would recommend for you to go pick it up. But for those of you that have read the book and want to hear me talk a little bit more about the spoilers, keep on watching. I really liked how this book just kind of jumped into it. Like we're in the first chapter and she's already in her room with this guy whose virginity she's about to take and add on to her list. I think this is like her 10th person and I loved how it just kind of like started off she's like this is what I do this is my thing yeah and just kind of introduced the concept I like that it didn't really start like with the first person I kind of liked that it was already a thing that she had going for her in her life and I think it kind of made it easier to understand the concept that way I felt such strong connections with most of the characters in this book Mercedes Zach and Faye being the three that I just loved so much Faye was my favorite character I absolutely loved her but Mercedes and Zach come a close second I really loved all of these characters obviously there was characters I disliked like Kim and Charlie and even her best friend wasn't my favorite person Angela but a lot of these characters were just really real and truthful, honest characters, and I really appreciate that, especially in a young adult book. We have Mercedes, who obviously comes from this rich family. Her father left her when she was younger, and she just lives with her mom, whom she calls Kim, because she doesn't look at her as a real mother, and I thought that was a really interesting dynamic to add to the story, and it kind of gives us a little more insight about Mercedes, and it kind of makes you wonder, hmm, like, is this why she does what she does? Like, she obviously has this troubled past with her parents. Kim doesn't understand 
understand her at all and only cares about materialistic things and she doesn't really care for her in that way that Mercedes kind of yearns for and it's really sad to see that in a book where there's a character and their parents just don't care and Kim especially like she's witnessing all of this stuff happening and she never once worries about her and you know who knows maybe Kim is secretly worrying about her but you don't really get that vibe from her in the book and also her father obviously left her you do find out later in the book that it's because Kim cheated on him which I will talk about that a little bit later but yeah a very interesting character dynamic between the parent mother I kind of liked having that though because it made more sense about Mercedes as a person when Faye gets introduced as a character I was a little bit wary about her I thought that maybe she was like coming in to take Zach or she was kind of trying to like end up manipulating her but she ended up being like my favorite character like I said the most real honest character throughout the whole book I love characters that just like tell it as it is and don't care about what others think of them and are just great friends in general and Faye definitely was that 100%. I appreciate that so much, a character that's just real and honest and a good person. Zach gets introduced in the beginning and I wasn't sure that he was going to end up being the love interest because she seemed so distant from him but obviously he did end up being the love interest and I really liked that because I loved Zach and I was really feeling for him. Obviously he did love Mercedes for who she was and wanted to get to know her but she just kept blocking him out for obvious reasons but I was so scared that she was going to scare him away and just like make him leave forever and him to be done with her and god bless that that did not happen because I was so scared I was like you're gonna mess this up like he's never gonna want to talk to you again which she almost did but she didn't so that's great I think the reason that I actually do like Mercedes as much as I do is because it's not that I'm justifying what she does at all because obviously I'm not but she thinks what she's doing is right like she thinks that she's helping these boys so that they can give girls a good first time because of what happened to her with Luke we obviously find out about Luke and how he's older than her and he takes advantage of her she never consents to what happens between her and Luke and he takes advantage of her she's 13 years old like think about when you were 13 years old you're so young you're so naive and that's so scary to say no to somebody that's older than you and that's kind of being like you're my girlfriend like this is what girlfriend and boyfriends do and you just kind of want to go along with that appease the older person and that's so scary and it's sad and she thinks that by having sex with all these guys she's ensuring that these girls will have a good first time and you know it doesn't really make sense it doesn't really work like that because the girls are gonna want to have sex with their boyfriends whether or not it's good so having these guys that she teaches how to have a good first time with I don't think is a hundred percent necessary I think that these girls would just appreciate having sex with their boyfriends whether or not they're amazing at it you know what I mean it's a hundred percent not justified what she's doing because she's literally taking these guys virginities away from their girlfriends and she's really potentially putting all these relationships at risk and that's not okay but what she's doing she believes is a good thing and she thinks that she's actually being helpful and I don't think she was being malicious about it at all so that's kind of where I justify why I like her I don't justify her actions but Mercedes is a person everybody makes mistakes everybody has their thing their issues and you know I don't blame her for that I don't blame her for anything like she's a person she's real and I loved how honest her character was and I really appreciate the author doing that because I feel like some people aren't gonna like her and there is people that I know don't like Mercedes at all but I personally could kind of see what she was thinking what her actions were why she did what she did and it made me like her so you know it's really a personal preference some people think what she's done is unforgivable and then there's people like me that just kind of get it we have that whole plot with Charlie and Angela and Angela being her best friend who's like into going to church a couple days a week and then we find out later that Mercedes is like an atheist so anti-church so anti all that kind of stuff but she just goes because she's friends with Angela she supports her with what she does Angela has this boyfriend named Charlie and Charlie's bad news I didn't see it at first I wasn't like oh my god Charlie's definitely bad but then you kind of get more into it and he starts kind of talking to her and what I thought was gonna happen is he was gonna approach her and be like will you teach me so I can be good for Angela I didn't think he was gonna like maliciously attack her the way he did but I knew there was kind of something going on it really really irritated me when everything was said and done everything was revealed Charlie puts the videos online all that stuff happens and all these girls are just attacking Mercedes like you're such a slut you're such a whore you're such a bitch all over her locker just being so mean and malicious towards her so rude and then like why aren't you going after your boyfriends that cheated on you 
why aren't you doing that? Because most of these guys came to Mercedes. Mercedes really only went to the first guy because she saw an opportunity and she thought she could help. All these other guys came to her. All of these guys came to Mercedes and said, take my virginity. And maybe they weren't thinking it's cheating, but like it is, it's cheating. And all these girls are just going after her and they're like, you ruined my relationship. N your boyfriend ruined your relationship. I don't understand. <laughs> That's just my opinion. That made me so mad. I was like, the double standard here is real and it's accurate like it's not that the author is portraying it that way it's a hundred percent an accurate representation of what happens if a boyfriend cheats on their girlfriend the girlfriend goes after the girl that he cheated with not him it's so accurate and it's so sad and obviously mercedes is partly to blame i'm not saying that she's not but the fact that she kind of just faced all this blame and all this ridicule is really upsetting to me and it's really upsetting that that happens in real life. I was a little bit confused about halfway into the story when we see her kind of start to question her sexuality and her feelings towards Faye. I was very confused. I was like, oh, so this is the direction the book is going in? I had no idea. And I was just kind of caught off guard by it. But then we find out that it's really not that at all and she just kind of realizes that it's more so she wants to be more like Faye than she wants to be with Faye and that kind of made sense but it was kind of wrapped up really fast and we didn't really hear a lot more on it which I was kind of disappointed about because it did play a factor in the book like there was many times where she was like contemplating like should I kiss her should I not kiss her like do I like her like me and Zach both like her like all this stuff and then it was just kind of brushed off which was kind of weird but like whatever I was fine but then we kind of see Faye and I'm still wondering if now Faye is questioning her sexuality because then we see like when they're about to kiss and then uh, Mercedes is like I can't do this sorry and Faye's like it's fine and she's like are you sure and she's like yeah I'm like okay so then is Faye like questioning like I don't really know but I thought that was kind of an interesting twist to add but I wish it was kind of touched upon a little bit more if that was something that was going to be incorporated you know another storyline that kind of took the back burner and I was a little bit upset about was the one with her parents so we have Kim who's pretty prevalent throughout the whole story but then about like halfway through the book we find out all that stuff about her dad and that her dad's coming back and he wants to see her and he misses her and all this stuff and then we have that one dinner where they do sit down and they talk a little bit they don't really talk about anything regarding the fact that he left or that she she on him Kim or anything like that they just kind of have this dinner and that's all like there's no conclusion about her dad or anything like that there's a slight conclusion about Kim and she's like you know maybe Kim is trying to be a mom in a Kimish way which is fine but we don't hear anything else about her dad like nothing like that's the end so I sort of wish that was wrapped up a little bit more and I understand like it did take the back burner to like the main storyline because it wasn't the main storyline but I would have liked to have a little bit more of a conclusion there I cried so much much during this book and I'm very surprised by it because it takes a lot for like a YA contemporary book to make me cry as much as I did during this book. I remember I started crying when she told Faye and Zach about everything starting from the first guy and just everything in between everything that's happened to her why she did what she did all that stuff I started crying. I started crying when Zach leaves to get up and he's like it's too much and she's like but Zach aren't we friends and he's like I thought you didn't want to be friends and he leaves I started crying so hard then and then Faye's talking to her and is like he'll come around she's like no he won't crying when she gets accepted to MIT I was bawling my eyes out not because I was like happy for her but because she couldn't even be happy for herself that made me so sad because throughout the whole book she's talking about how like everything's gonna be okay because she's gonna go get into MIT and go there. She's gonna get into MIT so that's gonna be like her happy place. Everything's gonna be better there. She can move to MIT. Like everything about MIT is just building up throughout the book and then she gets the acceptance letter and she's not even excited. She's like great got in like cool like not even that great because she's so upset about everything that's happened it happens during the same time where everybody finds out about her and then she's not even happy for herself and it made me so sad because I knew that that's what she was gonna be most excited about and she wasn't even excited and, and that was so sad to me that she couldn't get excited about something that she obviously was so happy about and I was crying then I was crying basically that point throughout like the rest of the book like here and there I remember finishing the book and I was like tear stained so yeah lots of crying did occur during this book I'm really happy that Faye and Zach's relationship didn't escalate beyond anything of like them going to the dance or like them making that tape together and they're just kind of friends I really didn't want 
Faye to like steal Zack away because that would have made me not like her and made me really sad for Mercedes but it doesn't work out that way obviously I think Faye just kind of respected her and respected Zack and realized that you know they really did like each other even if she wasn't gonna admit it and she just kind of stayed away from it which I loved which is another reason why I just loved Faye another reason I loved Faye is when we find out about her old school about how her and her boyfriend were really drunk and they like, had sex and that kid taped it and then it was all over the place and everybody saw the video and she had to transfer schools and it's so sad how realistic that is because that does happen there are so many times where a girl will make a sex tape with her boyfriend he'll be like I'll never show anybody and then he shows everybody and especially because she was so vulnerable in that moment and she was drunk that's literally like you can't consent when you're drunk. You can't. It's illegal. And it's so sad that she's the one that has to leave her school because she's so embarrassed. And it's so realistic and that's another thing that makes me mad. How realistic that is because that does happen to girls. They do have to change schools because embarrassing stuff happens like that to them. And it's so tragic and upsetting to me and I just can't. But that made Faye so much more of a likable character because she could move past it and take it as a learning experience. And then what she does for Mercedes at the assembly when Faye gets the video to play of her and Zach having sex and she's like, now nobody's thinking about you, they're thinking about me. I was like, honestly, what a good friend. Like, who would do that? Like, you'd have to be crazy to do that, right? But she just really cared and she's like, I don't really care about my future. Like, I'm going to beauty school. And I was like, you do you, girl. But I was really happy. Faye was such a good friend, like a better friend than Angela, honestly, and I think she just really related more to Mercedes, and she kind of got where she was coming from, and she never judged her, and that's a good friend, one that will never judge you for what you're doing, but if you want advice, they'll give it to you. That's like the best type of friend, so I really loved Faye so much throughout the whole book. I gotta be honest, at the beginning of the book, I was a little bit skeptical of her, but I ended up absolutely loving her. Overall, I did like the ending of the book. She does end up with Zach. They go on that date together and it's so cute and they just like go get milkshakes and it's adorable. And I love that part when she's laying in her bed and he kind of comes and lays next to her and she's like, this is so nice. And she realizes that she doesn't have to be having sex. She doesn't have to be doing all this stuff that seems like the norm for her. She needs to like realize normal tendencies and how to have a normal relationship. And I'm really glad that she comes to that realization. All in all, I did like the end because at the beginning of the book, she's this girl who always has to control things, always wants to be the one in control, the one teaching, the one showing everyone how to do things. And she realizes that she doesn't need to have everything be controlled in her life and she's just too controlling with everything she does. And the last two lines of the book are her saying, it's scary not knowing what comes next, but not knowing what comes next might be the best part. And it's such character development because at the beginning all she wanted to do is control everything and at the end she's saying you know maybe it's the best part not knowing what happens next and I'm ready for that and she's gonna go to MIT and she doesn't know what's gonna happen with Zach or what's gonna happen with her friends but it's okay and that's the best and I'm just overall really happy with the ending so guys that is going to be my book talk for first by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn I hope you guys enjoyed it please leave me a comment down below letting me know what star rating you gave this book and any of your comments about the book. Do you agree with me or do you not agree with me? Do you absolutely hate Mercedes or do you like her, understand her like I do? I would love to hear every single thing you have to say about this book, if it's bad, if it's good, anything. And obviously I know that not all of you are going to be in agreement with me about how much I love this book and love Mercedes, but you can be nice with your answer and your response. So just let me know down below. I'd love to hear any of your responses. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk. Let me know if you'd like to see more book talks in the future, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. You can also follow me on all my social medias which will be listed down below and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye!